Hey everybody, Wednesday evening, weather for Weather Geeks time. Uh, the forecast for the next few days, a little bit in flux this evening. We've had to make some changes to the weekend forecast, unfortunately. You never like making big changes to a weekend forecast in the summer, especially. That uh, is not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and uh, stick some rain in the forecast when you didn't have any previously. We're going to talk about that weekend forecast in this video, of course. But first, I wanted to talk about uh, the, the rain or, or lack thereof in recent days. We had some beneficial rains at the very end of July and the first few days of August. But, boy, the pickings have been slim in the past several days. When you look back at the last week, hardly a drop in a lot of eastern Ohio and western PA. Kind of a, a hole in the, uh, in the uh, total rainfall here. They did okay in western Ohio. Central and eastern PA have had some rain. But eastern Ohio, western PA, western New York, all pretty dry over the last uh, week or so, and we don't expect to add any to those poultry totals over the next 24 hours. Of course, we had zero inches of rain at the airport today. It was a little bit foggy at the start, but we had a partly sunny sky for the afternoon. We did have a little bit more in the way of cloudiness today than the last couple of days. That helped keep the temperature from rising too quickly. We topped out at 83 earlier today after a muggy 66. First thing this morning, our time lapse from Boardman shows that uh, shallow fog, it never got all that thick this morning, but shallow fog gave way to a milky sky today. We had that veil of high cirrus clouds most of the midday and afternoon. Boy, stormy afternoon and evening off to our south and east with very slow moving tropical showers and storms in Baltimore and DC and these extend right down through Roanoke and into parts of uh, West, uh, West, eastern West Virginia and into uh, western North Carolina as well. We're going to miss out on all that action. Now, we've been waiting for the dew points to drop all day. This drier air was not exactly in a huge hurry to just punch right in, sometimes like you see with a strong fall cold front. It's August. Typically, our cold fronts, of course, are pretty weak at this time of the year. So finally, the dew points have dropped into the upper 50s at the airport here in the 7 o'clock hour. And uh, with these, this uh, modestly drier air filtering in overnight, that will allow temperatures to cool a little bit more than they have the last few nights. All right, one small change we have made to the forecast in the short term is for tomorrow with just a small risk. I've got a 20% chance of a shower or a storm back in our forecast for the second half of the day tomorrow. Most of us won't see this, but I can't rule out a quick 5 or 10 minute shower with a clap of thunder. Uh, maybe the highest chances would be south of 224 with that. Um, but uh, splitting hairs a little bit there. It's a small chance just about everywhere. Now, our model here is moistening things up as early as the second half of the day Friday. Our Friday forecast remains dry at this point, but we have added some elevated rain chances to Saturday's forecast. Previously, Saturday's forecast was a mostly sunny and hot one, upper 80s. But this low, which was previously by most models forecast to stay to our south and be more of an issue for Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, the, uh, the Virginias, the Carolinas. Now it looks like it's going to come far enough north to bring us some rain threats on Saturday. But there's one notable exception to this. The European model, typically one of our favorite medium range models. On average, it's going to be more accurate than the GFS, but that's just on average. Sometimes the, the Euro is not going to have the right idea and the GFS is going to score a coup. Um, and the GFS has the support right now of other modeling aside from the European um, with this wetter idea coming our way Saturday. So when you look at the rainfall spread here on the Euro, the GFS, the GFS ensemble system, Euro has nothing. GFS would suggest that before the weekend is through, we might have a couple of inches of rain in some places. So weekend forecast is a challenge at this point, but we are leaning towards those wetter ideas because at this point, the, the Euro is kind of on its own. Shower and thunderstorm here and there, perhaps Sunday and Monday as well. But the medium range, and we're specifically talking about next week now, is looking pretty dry. Pretty good odds here of a drier than average period across a lot of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley as well. That's the 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Here's the 8 to 14 day outlook. Kind of a similar idea, not looking at plentiful rains next week. So we might get a pretty good drink of water this weekend if these wetter ideas work out, but Next week, I'm not looking for a whole lot in the way of precipitation. I'll, of course, be keeping an eye on the latest uh, model trends this evening and over the next couple of days for that weekend uh, forecast. Make sure you're following me on all the social media outlets. Make sure you're following the Storm Tracker 21 Facebook and Twitter accounts. I'll see you back here on Thursday for a fresh edition of the Valley's most in-depth and geeky weather forecast video.